What's up everyone, it's Scotty with Money Vesting. So in this video, we are going to be talking about a super high growth stock, a company that is going to be reporting earnings next week. It's a high quality business. It's in fact, one of the most owned company by Bill Ackman. And I'm sure you guys have guessed now, now that I've said that. Uh, but we're going to take a look at the earnings estimates for revenue and EPS. We'll talk about the rev, uh, the earnings expectations and, of course, the intrinsic value for this company and talk a little bit about the technical analysis as well. Make sure that you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time. Link to our Discord and Patreon is going to be down below if you're interested in joining and, of course, getting access to all the buy and sell alerts, options alerts, trade ideas. I did post a private video earlier today going over 17 growth stocks that I'm planning to buy with my fair values um, on those companies as well. So it's uh, again, a very, very quick video. Wanted to go over 17 core tech companies that are probably, in my opinion, some of the best long-term investments out there. And of course, going over the fair values at where I would be buying them. And of course, including the no brainer buy targets for these companies as well. And I'm happy to share an announcement that we also launched our first ever options course. So that's going to be available as of today. The coupon code is going to be quote launch, and you can get a 50% discount uh, if you want to take advantage of that as well. So it's going to have a lot of tutorials and educational videos on options and the bundle, which includes now not one, not two, but three courses, fundamental analysis, technical analysis, and options course, all is going to be 50% off for three courses. So you're getting a lot of educational material, over 100 plus videos and tutorials, and five, and actually over uh, 20 to 25 hours plus worth of content, tons of spreadsheets and PDF files. So it, this is literally, yeah, this is all the education you literally need when it comes to analyzing stocks from both a fundamental and technical analysis standpoint, and of course, taking action with trading strategies, investing, and options as well. So link's going to be down below if you're interested in joining us and of course, taking advantage of those discounts. So the company we are talking about today is going to be none other than Chipotle. And Chipotle here trading at just under $2,100, uh, pretty much at an all-time high right now. And they are going to be reporting earnings next week on Wednesday, July 26th, after the markets close. The EPS expectations, just a little bit over $12.31 and revenue expected at just over $2.5 billion. I love Chipotle. I love their Mexican bowls uh, and even burritos and whatnot, but they're absolutely incredible. Now, here's the thing. The last time I actually went to Chipotle just a few weeks ago, um, their actual physical ordering line was closed. Okay. And I actually saw that in not once, but two different locations in New Hampshire and in Massachusetts. Now, you know how they've been kind of boosting their digital sales? They've been like, hey, our digital sales are doing really well. They're up like 18, 20%. Maybe that's why, because I had to, actually one of my friends was there with me and he had the app on his phone for Chipotle and we had to order online, even though we were at the store, we were at the restaurant, but we had to order online and pick it up uh, from where they actually put those. So maybe, I'm not sure, there was only two stores. It could be something that Chipotle might be doing. They are definitely understaffed. So we asked them and that was one of the reasons that, that be, they're not taking physical orders because they are understaffed. Uh, so that again could be one of the reasons why they're boosting a lot of their digital sales. They're uh, kind of, you know, cutting cost with respect to lowering the staff, but then of course encouraging digital sales where the margins are definitely a lot higher because they have less overhead, 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 and of course, they've got less people working for them. But anyway, very consistent business, growing revenues from 3.2 billion to over 8.6 billion. Gross profits also gone from 1.2 to over 3.3 billion dollars, and operating income's gone from 500 million to over 1.1 billion dollars for the company and net income's gone from 327 million to almost 900 million dollars and shares outstanding have gone from 31.3 million down to under 28 million shares they've got a very very low amount of shares like only 28 million that's crazy that's why their dollar dps is at well over 37 dollars per share 36 30 37 dollars per share is their dollar dps margins are very strong over 40 percent gross profit margins net margins are 11 and a half percent again it's a food business fast food chains definitely don't have a significant margin you got return on equity capital and assets very very strong at 14 14 percent and even as much as 44 percent for return on equity and we got a balance sheet that's only a small issue where we got the cash at 1 billion and total debt at 3.77 billion. So net debt sitting at just over $2.7 billion. So definitely a little bit of a problem there. And debt to free cash flow a little bit over 5.5. So not the best balance sheet. Current ratio and quick ratio are pretty good at over one for the company. Now, valuation's always been a concern with Chipotle. And that's been my only complaint with this company. Uh, and I guess, I guess the balance sheet as well. But you've got, you know, price to earnings sitting at over 46.55. You got price to sales trading at a little bit over five and a half to six and a half. 
enterprise value EBITDA 3136 and price to cash flow over 34 to 38. So, you know, those are pretty expensive multiples for Chipotle, but I guess their growth is also pretty strong, but it's still not as strong as 55 to 50, uh, 47 times earnings multiple, right? So we'll talk about that in just a minute when we calculate our intrinsic value on this company. Now, this right here is going to be that growth. Speaking of, 40, $44 is the EPS expectations for this year, 36% growth, and that's expected to grow to almost $200 by the year 2032. That's going to be a compounded annual growth rate for the business of a little bit over 18% over the next nine years. And over the next five years, it is actually expected to be a little bit over 20%. So 20% is going to be that number for the growth over the next five years. And shares outstanding have gone down by 1.27%. So if you plug in some of these numbers, right? So I'm going to be conservative here. I'm going to go with the low end here, 20% growth. We're going to go with a 12% discount rate, 10% margin of safety, minus 1.5 is what I'm going to do for share buybacks. And price earnings multiple, right? I mean, right now it's trading at 55 times earnings multiple, 47 to be precise on a non-gap forward basis. But I'm going to go with 24, maybe 24, 25, just to be a little bit more conservative. And the fair value for this company ends up at 1473. Right now it's running at 2100. That means at least a 30% potential downside needed in order for Chipotle to be trading at somewhat fair value, right? Just based on the ex expectations that they're going to be able to grow earnings by, let's say, 20%, trading at a 24 times P multiple. So we're looking for a huge compression in the price earnings multiple from 32.9 down to as low as 24 times in five years. And that this right here is going to be that sensitivity grade. So again, you can kind of take a look at this for yourself, depending, depending on different growth rates, depending on different P multiples, where that fair value might end up for Chipotle. So... So that's where we are. I mean, Chipotle, it's a fantastic business, no doubt. I would love to own some Chipotle. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a great business. I go there all the time when I'm in the US, of course. Um, great Mexican food. I think Cava just went uh, public and they're kind of like a competitor to Chipotle, but I never really heard of them up until now, up until they actually did their IPO. But Chipotle definitely does have a pretty significant dominance uh, when it comes to like this, you know, restaurant, fast food place, where, which offers Mexican food. Uh, but again, valuation is definitely a bit of a concern. And again, investing, we want to pay less, right? We don't want to be paying more. Like I can brag all I want at $2,100 I'm paying for Chipotle, but the real money is made when you are getting $2,100 worth of value and by paying $1,000, right? Or paying $500. That's where the real flex comes in. And, and for me, like I would love to maybe own some Chipotle right here at this higher low. So this right here is going to be that ascending support for this company sitting roughly at $1,400, $1,500. That's going to be in line with my fair value on this company as well. So this right here is going to be that level. And of course, earnings are coming out um, next week, but uh, it's trading pretty much at an all-time high. So support level is going to stay put roughly at around 1966, all the way down to 1768, all the way down to 1500. All these just sound like years that something, you know, might have happened because like, Again, Chipotle trades at like a four-digit number, uh, but this right here is going to be that support, like I said, all the way down to these levels and the moving averages, of course, and I would love to own it uh, somewhere around here. I mean, the, the lower, the better, right? So 1192, 1200 is going to be even a better price and it would be undervalued at that level. It's hard to believe that one year ago, Chipotle was literally trading at that level um, and it has, you know, pretty much gone up 77, 78%. So those right there are going to be some levels to watch. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Fantastic company, a couple of concerns, our valuation. So the pricing of the stock and the balance sheet, a little bit of a concern as well, but overall very strong business, consistently growing, growth expectations are high, shared dilution, little to none. They're buying back shares every single year and expected earnings are very strong with very strong technicals on the company as well, trading at an all time high. So let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of this company? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also don't forget we do have the fundamental and technical analysis courses and the option scores now a bundle together 50% off and of course not to mention the option scores individually also 50% off coupon code launch and of course you can take advantage of the patreon and the private videos if you want to access all these types of videos and buy and sell alerts all those things so as always happy investing and i will see you all in the next video